Hello everybody, this is Fernando for the latest Mysteries and Oddities video. Alright, let's go ahead and we'll talk about this one here and then I'll wrap up this series for a little while. This will be the fifth video if you count the inaugural video that I started uh, a couple of weeks back. So I'm going to go ahead and give it just a little bit of rest and then start focusing on your suggestions on this too. And then, I don't know, maybe I'll start doing some more cryptids or some more um, ghost videos later on so be on the lookout for those this entry is very interesting because it's not necessarily a mystery as to the um, let's say object itself but rather where it was found because it looks just like an ordinary item something maybe you could even see at an excavation site but the whole entire mystery has to do where it was found specifically and when I'm talking about underground like where that location was because if you add all the details surrounding it and especially what it was beside to then how this thing that looks modern can be tied to something that was thousands of years back that is the mystery that's tied to it so I'm talking about the uh, strange thing known as the aluminum wedge of Ayud I hope I'm saying that name correctly Ayud it's a location there in Romania so I'm going to go ahead and give as much information as possible. Here it is, like you're looking at a picture of it right here. So what is the aluminum wedge of Ayud? Well, it looks like it's an item of some sort, something wedge-shaped that was found there in Ayud, Romania, hence the name of its uh, existence. And it was specifically found in 1974 there on the banks of a river called Mures River. Now, this looks like to me, like the first impression that I get, it looks like it's one of those uh, things that are that's on an excavator. Uh, one of those, I guess, uh, grappling hooks of sorts that's on the excavator, the end of the exp excavator, the ones that bring up all the dirt and the ground in the bucket and then uh, carry it forward. That's what it looks like to me. Um, someone else I'm sure that has more experience when it comes to those large mechanical machines if, if if that looks like something else as well please post that out but that was the first thing that came to mind it doesn't look out of the ordinary does it like it looks like it's a metal object of some sort purposely made this is not man-made I'm sorry like earth made no this would be a hundred percent man-made especially considering the perfectly symmetrical design of the two like the two points on top and then also the uh, what you can see with regards to the drill hole I guess uh, within the two points and then also that large uh, circle within the middle of it so but where the mystery surrounds this has to do with how far deep it was found within those banks those river banks there in the Muries River so it was found if you can believe it 35 feet below the ground below the sand and most interestingly enough right alongside two mastodon bones I don't know how exactly large these bones were but a mastodon is uh, those large animals almost like those large woolly mammoths of sorts that used to exist a long time ago not necessarily the dinosaur age but sure enough like way past when it comes to uh, modern animals so clearly of course we don't have any mastodons today when it comes to their existence but we always have at least uh, in museums we have their bones we have their exhibits uh, representations of them those are there so imagine this something that should be modern day right next to a mastodon which was extinct a long time ago and that's where the mystery surrounding uh, it comes about because based on the fact that if you were to take into consideration the time that it takes to for sand to build and add those as number of years then this thing if it truly was found based on the depth of its sand as in relation to the number of years it was there it would be about 11,000 years old clearly of course nothing modern about that 
this would be something very very old much older than anything related to what it should look like because again to me again it looks like something you would find in an excavator and absolutely of course there were nothing nothing even close to excavators way back when uh, everything of course is just in the in the 1800s maybe in the 1900s or so and that's because the composition of this thing is primarily made of aluminum and then based on the information that I was looking up it looks like aluminum wasn't uh, primarily used in quantity I guess uh, what you would call like the more modern use of quantity like aluminum is everywhere but it was found and discovered in 1808 but it was not produced in terms of, of, of modern quantity until about 1885 so how can you have something that is purportedly at least dated based on the discovery of its location to be 11,000 years old when in actuality its existence, its own existence wasn't uncovered like the material of it up until around the early 1800s. That is the mystery. That's why people to this day make a big point about this thing because the only other conclusion if you're going that far is the fact that this could be something else entirely different were there aliens visiting earth a longer time before uh, than let's say modern humans or is there something in terms of, of almost like that movie Prometheus where there was um, something visiting earth way way back when and then they in turn either in purpose or an accident left a remnant of one of their objects whatever they were using for some kind of mechanical purpose and there it was just over the years over the thousands of years just left and then the sand itself just started layering over it inch by inch by inch until it was found 35 feet uh, below the sand that is up to you to decide that is uh, your uh, best guess when it comes to the, the this thing whatever this aluminum wedge of Aoud is so but if regards to uh, other materials associated with it it's not just aluminum itself there's apparently um, some kind of, of, of 12 different elements I'm not exactly sure what the other 12 elements are but it's not just aluminum as well but at least that is its main purpose its main component it makes about 89 percent of it too there's also apparently a very large oxide layer um, and, and that layer if you were to just test that oxide layer in of itself makes it at least 300 to 400 years old too so again why would you have even if you're just going by that basis why would you have this thing uh, when when modern day aluminum wasn't used until the mid 1800s or so how could this thing then have an oxide on it just through old use have be, have it be 300 400 years old much longer in that in this case than when aluminum was first discovered very very mysterious stuff it all points to the facts or the basis that it's just because there were aliens something in terms of some other type of civilization of some sort that was using these kind of machines and when they did so there they were at that specific location one thing chipped off by accident and that's where it was left to be found this very day as far as this location too um, apparently the uh, wherever it's at it's considered a private location because um, it, its current whereabouts are unknown so if anyone has any idea where that is like where the current locations are that would be really really interesting to hear but otherwise the pictures you're finding now People have taken pictures of it, I guess, when it was produced out to, for people to see. But um, if you wanted, like, let's say, to think that it was at, like, a museum or at some exhibit of some sort, nope, it's not there at all. So you would have to essentially try to f do a little hunt of your own to see where this thing is. But it's currently remained hidden. Like, it's in, at an undisclosed location. And all we have right now on the basis of its existence are past pictures. So. But yeah, that's that's pretty fascinating to me because this is truly a mystery. Like, how can this thing exist when it was 
uh, using materials that at least based on both its location its depth and then also the oxide covering it would have painted far longer than the current discover of aluminum that's that's fascinating it, it, you can't just dismiss that away but if anyone has any more information that would be really really good to hear but I was glad to find this I never heard of this uh, mysterious object before but I'm glad to be able to share it with everyone here so all right everybody Thanks again as always. Take care.